Who, who, who? I'm a hillbilly. Hi guys, welcome back. Just carved Rob, and what are we doing? We're still working on this stick, guys. Still working on the stick. It's getting there, though. We're getting there. Okay. So, what have we done on the stick? All right. Well, I put a wood spirit on top of the stick. I really can't see them that well. Let's see. Squirt a little water on them. See if that brings them to life any. All right. There, that's better. That darkened them up a little bit. Okay, you can see his nose and his eyeballs. And he is not the traditional type of wood spirit. He's more of a leafy guy. Leafy guy. He says, leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. I'm on this stick. So just leave me alone. Get it? Leaf. Leaf me alone. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Nah. All right. Then we got our diamond. Our, our dragon scale handle. We got some more leaves. We got our deer all done. He's all done, guys. The deer is all done. He got his acorn and his leaves done. Got some more leaves that are all done. We went and put all those uh, striations. Hey, got it right the first time. Striations. Got them all put in there. We got our Bible. We got our lacets all done. We got our trees are all done. The pine tree and the broccoli, I mean oak tree, broccoli tree. Uh, we got our our fish. Still got some more work to do on our fish, but he's I'd say he's like eighty five percent done. Our fish, and we still got to finish our little fishing lure. And then we got our eagle. He's all done. And then we got our old desiccated. It's late winter. No leaves on the tree. Tree. And then that's about it. Oh, we got all of our rings cut in. The rings, they're all cut in. Mostly shaped. Still got this. this these up here I got sanded. I sanded them. But the, uh, this one, that these ones down here I didn't sand yet. But once I sand them, they'll be more roundy looking. And then we still have to come back in here and put the uh, striations. Striations. All in here. So that's where we are, guys. Yeah, we're getting there, eh? Hey, I think we'll be staining this weekend. Maybe tomorrow. Depends on how much time I can dig up tomorrow to work on them. Get a pretty, pretty busy day tomorrow. So, there he is. That's what our walking stick's looking like, guys. We even put leaves over the top. And they're they're carved in. They just have to be, uh, we have to do, do what we do, you know? Shape all these leaves yet. So, nice thing about putting that alcohol-based water on this stick is that it loosens the paper up. See that? All that paper just sliding right off in there, guys. Sliding right off. Like that, yeah. So, one nice thing about using alcohol and water 50 50 mix is remember we use the elmer's glue stick to put this on with so the uh i think the alcohol dissolves the paper still a little sticky sticky but yeah we'll just squirt some of that more of that on there and let that uh number one it might help me when i go to shape the leaves it won't be so chippy. Yeah, see that? That stuff just slides right off in there. Ugh. 
boogers. It's kind of what it reminds you of when you peel that paper off. Because that glue gets a little slickery. A little slimy. Yuck. Where's my paper towels at? Always have my roll of paper towels handy. There we go. Yep, so that there is the wood spirit I decided to carve. Right there. See them? I like them. What? You don't like them? Well, too bad. He's already on there. There's nothing I can do about it. So chop that top off and screw another one on it. But we are not, we're not doing that. We're coming dead. We're coming dangerously close to the end of the carving on this stick. We just got some. Well, I think basically the carving is done. What's on it's on it. That's what's going to be on it. But uh, now comes for the the staining and all that good stuff, all that good jazz. Hey, there he is. Up, oh, got a booger back there. There he is. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Hey, look what I got in the mail today. High speed bits. High speed diamond bits. From our friend uh, Charlie. He said he bought these and uh, for his Dremel. And decided he didn't want them or they wouldn't work for him or something like that. So he said, hey Rob, do you want some high speed, high speed bits? And I'm like, sure I do. You can always use bits, right? You can always use burrs. And Charlie said he'd mail them to me and he sure enough did. There they are. Thanks, Charlie. Appreciate it. We'll use them. And, uh, yeah, so thanks to all you guys out there, all the subscribers, all the viewers, and uh, what can I say? I appreciate the support, guys. Man, this, place, this bench is getting as dirty as the old bench. I'm going to have to get out the vacuum cleaner in the air blower and clean it all off yeah there's our high speed tool again see i was using it today charlie I'm using it yep and these bits right here go right in there look at that just like they're made for it huh flame burr gotta love them flame burrs Yep. Come on out of there. Get out of there. Evil, evil Rick. What are you doing, evil, evil Rick? If you don't know evil, evil Rick, you should go over and see evil, evil Rick channel. And it's evil, evil Rick. Just like that. One word. Evil, evil Rick. Uh-huh. Rock of Ages USA. Go check him out. Good guy, Gene Messer. If you like carving the little guys, Gene Messer. Go check his channel out. I think it's G-E-N-E-M-E-S-S-E-R. Messer. One of these days, I will learn how to put all this stuff down in the descriptions, but I haven't learned it yet. But I'm working on it, guys. I really am. I'm trying. So, uh... Thanks for everything. There's a, a review of the stick as to where we are with it right now. Apparently, I knocked my wood burner off the table. So, I'm going to put that back up here. I just see that I've got a, a little desk thing behind my workbench. And it looks like my wood burner has taken a dive. There it is. Okay, it's back. Here. We're all good. I'll tell you. Bad thing about carving sticks is you need if you need if you got a six foot stick you need twelve feet on each side of it or six feet on each side of a total of twelve feet. 
because you're constantly spinning that thing around and around and around. By the time you, you get done carving a five foot stick, you should be an awesome baton twirler. Because that's what you're doing with that stick. You're turning it and turning it and turning it and turning it and turning it. It seems like you always, you get cut, you, you're carving and you're like, I got to turn it. And then you get the, you get cold and carving up. Oh, I got to turn it again. Okay, guys. So I guess we will call this a video and I'm going to go ahead and post it up so you guys can see it. Don't put fingers in your hole. Don't put fingers in in the hole because you don't know what's in there. It might be a mouse down there. Yeah, get a hold of your finger. Thanks, subscribers. Thanks, viewers. Thank you, Charlie. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Share, subscribe, and like if you want to. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. I see some of you guys are left in the comment. You're trying to carve walking sticks. Awesome. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I would do it. Hell, I am doing it. Oh, pardon the French. I am doing it. So, if I can do it, you can do it. Have fun doing it. Be patient. Walking sticks takes patience. It's not a... I, I have never been able to just buzz one out. You know, unless it was just like with a, a wood spirit on top. And uh, like a leather wrapped handle or something. I think I've only ever done one of those. The rest of them have all been like what you see going on here. High detail. So, uh, all right. I guess I've said goodbye like two or three times now. But I just hate to see you guys go. I enjoy your company so much. All right. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.